come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us on the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're the fastest growing podcast in the universe. This has been confirmed, I think. Uh, yeah. By by our listeners. I was going to say, we could have talked to, uh, what's his name? To Amos? It, was it Amos? He, Amos? He died. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> st- st- what's his name? Stephen? Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, yeah. Oh, oh, Stephen okay. Hawking would be the one to confirm it, I would think. Oh, yeah. I mean, he seems like a good source. Right, right. Yeah. but he's, yeah. again, he's, he, he died. Right, so go ahead and prove us wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have no one to I'm, do it. Sean, I'm sure he Neil died. deGrasse Tyson would love to prove us oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Isn't that kind of his shtick? That's his thing <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah, is he proves things wrong or says that wouldn't work. Even All right, though so if your he, name if is he, not if he proved Neil deGrasse wrong, Tyson. I would just feel so honored. <laughs> yeah, like, thanks for the thanks yes. for the signal boost, man. Appreciate it. I love it. Um, so, uh, in addition to being the fastest growing podcast in the universe, uh, which is, uh, you can help us with that by hitting the subscribe, the like button, uh, wherever you found us, give us a review or a star rating. All of that stuff helps us get found by other folks like you. Uh, we're a movie review podcast and we are the internet radio superstars sean michaela holly and i'm colin and tonight we're watching a movie that was chosen by holly uh holly what did we all watch tonight we all watched collectively tonight (laughs) at the same time what did we all view the boy the boy from the the year 2016 and directed by william brent bell who we would know from hell is that we would know him from the devil inside i saw that movie it was okay i did not see that movie. it had cool moments it was that found footage oh lost me already (laughs) yeah not sean they got like way edited down like it seemed like it was a movie that was obviously meant to be r and then they cut it down because there was a couple bad editing slip ups in that movie where there was bad um squaring censorship Oh. You know, oh, where you're right. like, oh, this is this could have been a way cooler movie because right. I can see the seams now. But mm-hmm. yeah, there was like another devil movie that came out like a year later. It was another front right. Footage. No, so <laughs> they went to like Mexico and the girl got pregnant and it was like was a it, devil I saw baby the thing. devil. No, what the hell is it called? I don't know. I'll come back. Oh, I saw the devil is actually more like a true crime thriller than. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I saw the devil. Yeah, yeah. it's like a Korean, Korean serial Korean killer. Movie. Oh, right. That one's pretty movie. good. Yeah. I was like, is it good? Yeah, that, sounds really good. Really that sounds pretty good. It's a really good movie. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I like that now with Parasite, everybody's like, oh, South Korean movies. I'm like, they've been making awesome movies. They've always movies been good. For decades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're one of the next to Hollywood, probably like the, uh, what would you call I mean, their stuff is always like very clean and sharp and very well produced. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Probably, I mean, next to uh, American cinema, I would say. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. It's always been that way, you know. Bollywood, People are just late, perhaps. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we know this guy from? Um, we know we will know him from the boy too. Will we? <laughs> <laughs> will we? Which is kind of like amazing in some ways that uh, they did bring back the same writer <laughs> and same director. Yeah. What was this? Four years later. Mm, yeah. 2016, and they so. added a Katie Holmes. Yeah, Katie Holmes. Or, or, yeah. Is that is that addition? Is that? I mean, she's definitely more of a household name than the girl in this movie. True. That's um, Lauren Cohen. Oh, sorry, you were going to say. Well, something. I was going to say, did the rights pass from one company to the other? No, or is it's this, STX doing just, it again. I, yeah, yeah, STX and Lakeshore. I'm like, oh, which is the Huey Brothers or what, what is it? They're, it's the a H, Hong Kong. Yeah, the, the H, H Brothers. Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, was this a big hit in uh, in China? I don't know. Uh, what the, I guess it, so. Don't they? Well, it grows like that. 64 million. It's nice against a budget of 10 million. I was going to yeah. say it couldn't so, have been yeah. much. It's yeah. one location. Yeah, yeah, one location, one actor. Yeah, it feels like it could have been a Blumhouse movie. It's basically right? yeah. on that kind yeah. of model where it you does. have a uh, very contained in a house uh, mm-hmm. scenario. Uh, Lauren Cohen is the star. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would know her from The Walking Dead. She's Maggie. Maggie. Yeah. And I think, is she now, like, has she been promoted to series lead? Everybody else is dead, I, right? I, I, <laughs> right? I, 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 like I her assume, and the like, older I, lady. I, well, I assume it's oh, her Carol? and Daryl, right? Oh, and Daryl. Uh, yeah, yeah. Norman Reedus. Carol. I assume mm-hmm. it's Norman Reedus and Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't watch it. I haven't watched it in years, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She was, is she also Man in the High Castle? Is she on that show? Uh, the, is that the Amazon so. show? That is the Amazon show. I don't know if um, she's on it. 
the guy in this was in that. Okay, maybe that's where I yeah. got. Yeah. Because he yeah. was yeah. in, uh, what's his name? Rupert? He was in Hellboy. Rupert, he was in uh, Hellboy. Yeah. yeah. Rupert Evans? No, what's Ever- his name? Yes. Evans? Rupert Everett? Evans. Rupert Evans. Yeah, yeah. Rupert they all have the same name. No, okay. Basically. Sure. <laughs> whatever, whatever. No, no, I was agreeing. Yeah. Like, they yeah, all they all have the same name. It's, yeah. Phil and generic white guy right, name. Rupert. It's that guy, you know? <laughs> British white guy. Yeah. British white guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rupert. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was the point of view character in the original Hellboy, mm-hmm. written out for the sequels because oh, you don't really need him. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, much younger there. I don't know that I've seen him in uh, anything else, but I'm sure he, the, the, all these people are doing lots of work. Just this, fine. But uh, maybe they all come back for the boy too. We don't know. But the fact that um, <laughs> that Lauren Cohen is in this movie, uh, kind of, it, 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 because this is made in a time when uh, horror films were actively recruiting from television shows yeah well and at this point the walking dead was probably at its height I yeah would think. this was probably you the know. negan season yeah, wasn't it around there like yeah the introduction of negan maybe like yeah. i think this was the high point of the walking dead well there was another uh actress from the walking dead who got her own movie it was sarah wayne callies i think who played rick's wife whose name uh, i can't remember right. what was it what Lori? was Lori. yeah uh she was in a movie called the other side of the door. Remember this one? Nope. No, never heard of it. Really? Really? Oh, I've okay. Heard, well, we, yeah, I've heard of it. I have no idea what it is. Uh, she's in the Philippines or something. And loses a child, and then there's this temple where it, you can talk to the child as long as you don't open the door. Because mm. you open the door, then evil spirits come out. Of course, she opens the door. Okay. There's right. a spoiler. Yeah, Otherwise, you don't have a movie. Right. And right. then uh, I remember at this time also. Um, oh God, her name is escaping from my mind she was in game of thrones uh she was Mar- margarita no i'm good what was her oh, character Mar- oh Mar- marjorie marjorie natalie Tyrell. dormer natalie dormer was in the forest yeah right right, right. which was originally suicide forest which mm-hmm. would make sense but we can't say suicide in a title here unless, unless it's suicide, suicide squad, squad. Mm-hmm. so it became just the forest mm-hmm. which is a dumb title it's a dumb uh, title. <laughs> especially for a horror movie it's very a, dumb it's title a generic mm-hmm. yeah very well generic. the place yeah. is called the japanese call it the suicide right. forest right. in yeah. the shadow of mount which kilimanjaro have, which would have been so much cooler yeah mm-hmm. call it that yeah, um, something going I for it. I can't remember if there were are there other people from The Walking Dead who uh, branched down into feature films at this point in time. I can't think of if they did. Michael Rooker, if you count him. Yeah, I mean, but he's always yeah. yeah, he's always he yeah. was like yeah. guest starring on The Walking yeah. Dead. Right. But, yeah. but at this point, um, oh god, his his name is escaping me. Um, Shane. What is his name? John, John Bernthal. Bernthal. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, he's he, Punisher, right? He was Punisher, and he did a bunch of movies. Like he, yeah. all Wolf of, of Wall sudden, Street. He, yeah. yeah, he, he, he no, will just in show 2017, up. Twenty seventeen, he walked out of movies. Remember, he would show up for a scene and walk yeah, out like a baby it. driver. Baby remember? driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. He, he literally goes on an elevator ride with a character and just walks out of movies all that yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there I, was one where he was in yeah. it for a scene. Yeah, yeah. I felt There's like something two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen. He was in a lot. Yeah, yeah. I thought I just saw a trailer for something where he's like in a scene, but he was in Ford versus Ferrari. He's still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's still that guy. He yeah. still shows yeah. up all over the place. Oh, yeah. So he actually had he did it the the right way. I yeah, guess, he did. right. Yes. He had a good agent mm-hmm. and figured this is how you get roles. You know, yeah. and you don't have to be the star. Right. Yeah. You just you're the guy who shows up. Because he's the still memorable. Face. Like in yeah. everything he does, you still remember him. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, I love that yeah, guy. Like, hey. he's, yeah. He's the character actor. Yeah. And he was actually, I thought he was really good as the Punisher. I like the Punisher I loved series. Him as the Punisher. Yeah. Was a little slow burny, but it was. He made it really sad. Like it he, got really sad I at he moments. Did a really good job. Mm-hmm. I just, liked him. Yeah, and I just saw overall, like season that two. show was so much more violent than I anticipated it to be. Yeah, I it liked was, it. I really, I liked it too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lauren Cohen is a. Uh, she's actually born in America, but raised, raised in England. So yeah. she has an English accent. She does have an English accent, but plays an American nanny. In this movie, yes. do you know? I mean, uh, I don't know what research you've done. Do we need to find out? Like, I was a this... nanny for three years. That's the research I did. <laughs> this is and the the uh, the screenwriter was like a nanny and and wrote this movie. How did this movie come about, or do we know? I did not find much. Okay, I mean, I mean, came about. There is. Look at this Blu-ray. There is nothing on there. Yeah, yeah. nothing. There's not even a deleted scene. It's Colin, there. I think that there's a a dartboard in like all the uh, you know production company offices that yeah. says ghost. And it says like doll, you know, house, <laughs> you know, whatever, and they just throw it. Okay, write a script based because right. like this is not on the surface. This is not the most unique premise for. Yeah, I, I don't on right. the surface. I will say, and right. it, was, it was written by um, is it Stacy Miner? Miner? I'm not sure how to say it. It's M E N E A R. Um, 
But she hasn't really done much besides this and the boy. Well, that's a he, uh, Stacy. Yeah, he, sorry, yeah, yeah. I looked him up uh, to see if he'd done something else. And he's was only this, done those like, two scripts? Yeah, he's only written like three things. Oh, okay. like sh- I think there was a short in there too, or something like that. But his. So this was his big yeah. spec idea. Yeah. The boy it got picked up, made into a major motion picture, and now he gets to live and off the, of it and, and then, make of the boy too. And the well was dry for three <laughs> yeah. years, and he's just like shit. The I have an idea. Uh, he's working the on a TV too. show somewhere. Probably we call it Brahms. We should yeah. probably say that later on we will be spoiling the end of this movie. Yeah, and it's like it's really important. It could come out of movie. my mouth at any moment. Um, it's I'm- like like I I don't want to say there's the T word in this movie, but there kind of is. So. If you have any interest in seeing this movie, just turn this off. I would turn it off. Go now, watch it. Yeah. Again. We're going to spoil the hell out of this in order to talk about it. We can't not talk yeah. about it. Because we want to talk yeah. about the ramifications of it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Unless you want to jump past. Oh, see, I don't, even in no, our we're recommendations, we'll probably be talking about it. Yep. So, just FYI, if this is your first rodeo with yeah. this podcast, this we are a spoiler. Could happen at any podcast. time. Yep. Um, Sean's a rogue. We never know what he's going to say. <laughs> so. Well, I'm almost wondering, like, do we need to talk about the beginning? He's in the wall. The, 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 the end Sean? work forward. So sorry. Um, so, uh, the setup, Holly, what are you, what's the setup of this movie? What's the, the log line? So we have a, um, we have a an, lady. Yeah. We have an American woman mm-hmm. who's coming to, uh, be a nanny to this family in England. Um, that's a, that's quite a trip. How do you get a job like that? I mean, that's a, that's, you gotta be yeah. giving, you gotta be a really good nanny to be like, yeah, we'll have you move from America to come I, I have a friend that has actually like looked into nannying and like a cross country and a cr- and that sort of thing and it, it I honestly don't know how they how she found them but she like interviewed with a couple in New York City and they were gonna fly her out from Washington like it's this whole thing I don't know how they find these situations but it happens I don't know guess it's a good gig if you can get it right like I'm yeah. just saying like you basically it basically comes down to if they trust you and they like you right yeah. like that's so it's just yeah. they just have like it you can't really have like a perfect interview for that you just kind of they either like you or they don't either you, you know? mess you don't it's like a yeah. date yeah exactly it's like a first date well, really that's kind of yeah, what I'm the, reminded of the uh, uh, Friends episodes where they're looking for the nanny yeah which were I'm just looking for another friend. Well, this is kind of how the movie starts. It is like the first date, you know, they're yeah. meeting the potential uh, employers. Mm-hmm. So, of course, because it's a horror movie, this only happens in horror movies. It's like a fairy tale castle in the woods is where she's going. Yeah. Uh, somewhere That's just what England the, looks like. The English countryside. <laughs> Every well, house is in the woods. I or hate British to tell Columbia. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not filmed anywhere. I'm not surprised. No, British Columbia. Yeah. Um, So, (laughs) the London of North America. (laughs) Right. That's that's, that's, you know, kind of. You know, yeah. Basically. But I mean, you never. The whole movie never leaves the grounds of this house. I mean, it's a remarkably contained thing. Yeah. Um. So she meets this uh, eccentric old couple, Mm -hmm. um, who want her to look after. Uh, their son Brahms. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a big painting hanging above the the uh, the staircase of the family with the little boy, right. and so then she's introduced to the little boy. And what do we discover? The little boy is actually a doll. A porcelain doll. A porcelain doll. Yep. A very lifelike kind of doll that you carry around. Its proportions are disturbing. Oh yeah, that's it's true. <laughs> the size of it cuz it's not like an Annabelle like smaller size doll. No, it's it is like, like the size of like a 6-year-old. Yeah. Yes. So this is um so we're in the, the the so the movie is setting up, right? This is the ghost story, right? Right off the this no, is the yeah. haunted doll movie. Yeah, yes, of course. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Um, so we don't, of course, uh, the thing is going to have to like roll this out as like how, you know, how should you find out that the, the thing is haunted or like what's ta- actually taking place. Mm-hmm. The only other characters, because uh, these eccentric old people, they mm-hmm. treat the doll as if it is their son. Right. Uh, which she just finds completely weird. But the money is yeah, good. Oh, wouldn't yeah. You? Would you take this job? Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. That's I, a yes. I, right? Well, <laughs> first of all, we can break this down in very serious all, measures. I'm a type of person that I like haunted things. So that already doesn't put Holly me off. would be very excited. I like haunted things. I love it. <laughs> she I, would. They'd be like, and this is Brown. She'd be like, you have a haunted doll? Yes. <laughs> and just yell at them. <laughs> Where's my room? I got to be very excited. But second, the way they set up this storyline, we we get some more backstory about um, about Greta. Lauren Cohen's name is Greta. We get some more backstory about her and find that um, 
like piece by piece, she reveals that she's actually like running from something. She's actually like escaping mm-hmm. the U.S. Mm. to to get away from a scenario that we. Uh, by piece by piece we figure out was not a good scenario that she's actually like hiding from someone or she's like in hiding kind of scenario with that in mind I can see how that situation is much more scary than a couple that just has a creepy doll Mm -hmm. so I'm like I see what she's doing like she's like okay this is actual real life terrifying like horror situation that I need to get away from these people just have a doll that they like have <laughs> mental issues with and they're going to pay me a lot of money. How so like, I see mean? that. And I get right. to live in this dope ass house exactly. by myself. If exactly. you think about it, the setup's not unlike The Shining, right? Really? Like she's yeah. like, she's getting the same and kind she's of, the yeah. Yeah. And she's, she's home by herself in this dope castle. Yeah. yeah. Like, like we see a whole scene of her like day drinking and reading all day right. long. Like yeah. that seemed pretty exactly. cool. Like, exactly. so I'm like, this does not seem like an unreal scenario. Like I get it. Yeah, I mean yeah. they do the they do the old couple do leave out like a series of uh, rules rules that, yeah. ten rules or something that rules, you have to yeah. abide by, um, and they're all pretty like just no visitors in the house right. like changes clothes Brahms never leaves say goodnight like it's it's. Play the music loud. Yeah, it's like babysitter stuff, but just yeah. a little weird. Yeah, yeah. but it's a yeah. yeah. And before they pack up, because this is what we get, it's like they are going on vacation and they need a nanny to watch him. So this isn't like a long term thing. I don't think that she couple months. I think they said it was going to be. Yeah. yeah, they're like going on holiday. It's right, because they say that they yeah. haven't been able to do this in a while. An extended mm. rich person vacation. But yeah. at the end of it, the old woman hugs her and says, "I'm sorry." Which is always a big clue mm-hmm. that things are going to go bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which. For, and she doesn't go, for what? Yeah. And he says, Brahms is as good to you as you yeah. are to him. Yeah. Or something. If, if like, you're good to him, he'll be good to you. And if, if you're, you're not, bad to him. <laughs> wait, oh, honey, honey. Sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to go that far, <laughs> Harold, or whatever. Now. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Heelshire. Yes, okay, Heelshire. Heelshire. Because it's England. Now, yeah. I'd be hesitant to take the job because these are obviously two mentally ill people. It's like a great garden situation. And well, yeah. and yeah. you're in, you're in, yes, a dope house, but you're out in the middle of nowhere mm-hmm. with just mentally ill people. Yeah. But, so, but they're leaving. Uh, they're leaving uh, yeah. They're leaving for a night until they come back and murder you. <laughs> and they're paying you a lot of money. Ah, yeah. they, but yeah, you're dead. You can't spend it. House of the devil. Isn't that how that was another babysitting job where they left? Did they? Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and me personally, once I saw the hot grocery guy, I'm like, all right. I mean, yeah, the only I mean other person this. that ever comes. He that, comes I mean, a that, lot. That helps. That, so that helps. That, there's it's another just, guy who's just like, yeah, this is weird. This is Malcolm. <laughs> yeah. Malcolm yeah. who brings deliveries. He's this on the, the rule list. Only Malcolm brings deliveries. Right. Um, he only exists in this movie to give her someone to talk to. And to dole out some of the backstory. Yeah. Because he, yeah. and they dole out the backstory in, in separate uh, uh, points in the movie. The first is, you know, she's like, Malcolm, okay. What's up with the doll? Yeah. And he's like, well. She's like, you could have warned me. And he's like, but what? he's basically like, where's the fun in that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we should mention that in England, <laughs> nobody locks their doors. It's just assumed that, you know, as long as you lock your bedroom door, the rest of the house is pretty much like fair game for anybody <laughs> who wants it. Because Malcolm doesn't show up at the front door. Malcolm, no, he walks into every room in the house. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't know you were here today. They'd be like if your UPS guy was just like walking in your house. Yeah. Yeah. I think they a couple of times he goes like, well, I knocked, yeah. but he didn't answer. Yeah. So there he is. They clearly have a, a relationship, like a bond with him. He's, it seems like he's more of like an extent, like a, a family member. None of us are rich enough, rich enough to have a relationship with a delivery person like no, that. You I, know, I, I mean, we don't have grocery delivery no. guys. Yeah. We no. don't have that. Well, you got uh, Uber Eats or whatever the, oh, what is right. The but that? this guy clearly works for yeah. them. He's yeah, a right. privately yeah. hired to do de- See, grocery got, delivery. I, I, you'll never get, like, I was hanging out with my Uber Eats. Yeah, dude exactly. The other yeah. Day. But I was wondering, does he have, I mean, like, is this just like a point on his, uh, you know, circuit? Like this old folks and then these old folks and these think, old folks. Like I, think that, I was more imagining it's more of like a rich person staff member, right? Like I'm rich and well, these are my house staff. I, my guys? Guys? Well, no, I get the impression because he did mention that he owns his own grocery store. It's his store that he's bringing them food from. Mm, okay. I get the impression that they're like his biggest client. So he takes care of that himself. Mm-hmm. That's ah, the impression gotcha. I got. He, they pay him extra in right, order to yeah. do the service. That's his right. big ticket client. So, okay. like, you know, he might let his staff handle the rest of his business, but he takes care of that one. Right. Because we don't learn much about Malcolm 
uh, really what he does outside of, uh, you know, coming over to the, the what, the Braithwaites? Who? The, the, the Heel Shires. Shires. The Heel Shires. The Braithwaites. Um, <laughs> that, was a, that was one. You had Playing that ready to go, because that was not something you just put together. The yeah. Braithwaites. It just came to my head. I can't remember where that was from. Like Red Dead Redemption. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Right families in Red Dead Redemption. There is, uh, so at the beginning of the movie, this because this is an important scene that I caught, or I'm like, okay, what's, what's happening here? Um, she's asking... Uh, Malcolm about who what's going on with Brahms right. and he says and the you know there was a fire yeah. and the little boy died and then shortly thereafter the doll showed up and mm. they've been treating it and right. well you know, wait they, wasn't there one thing that happened before the fire there was well, that, the, he, well doesn't, that, he doesn't tell he doesn't, her that yeah, yeah. He reveals yeah. That okay. later. yeah. so but, yes. but he's telling yes. her this is I think they see the grave of Brahms and yes. she's looking at the date and she's like <laughs> Oh. He would have been the same age as you. I hated this. This, <laughs> I absolutely. It almost made me. I was just like, this. Okay, this is what the movie's going to be. This yeah. is shitty because it's going to be like because it's it, first of all, happening? first of all, it's an ADR mm-hmm. ADR mm-hmm. line which yeah. was inserted in there. I'm like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. You're you're like, let's throw some suspicion on this dude. Yeah. Which it fine. was poorly ADR. Poorly. Like, it was like, so Ugh. obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Honestly, be the same age as that you. line told me the end of the movie. Did it? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, because I was like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do one of those things where now it's like it could be him doing no, all this stuff, I, but that means it's gonna be could be somebody else." As soon as they said that, else. I was like, "Well, I know where this is going." Oh, really? Yep. Okay. All right. I was a little <laughs> dense then. I didn't. I mean, I realized that that was gonna be important, but okay. I was so, like, "This is a misdirect." It's like because it was, it's an ADR line. I was like, yeah. "It's obviously a misdirect." It was between that and then when he showed her how to. Um, empty the rat traps and so that the wife was really concerned about uh, rats getting in the walls. It's mm. like, I know exactly how this movie ends. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That it was those been a two good... things. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I didn't pick up on that. Right. <laughs> I should have. That would have been... I'm with you though, Sean, that like because it's ADR'd in, it's obviously an afterthought. Mm-hmm. So they put that in because they were like, we need to make it a little mixed up right. here, you know? Sure. Mm-hmm. You throw some shit in Well, here. she yeah. sees ghostly things happening right off the bat. She takes her shoes off and leaves them in a certain place in the house and and then when she comes back, they're not there. Oh, mm. did I put them in the wrong place? I forgot. We saw her put them there, and they're gone. I don't know if we see a lot of things. I feel like we don't see. Them. It's more just like, oh, that wasn't where I put it. Right. A lot. <laughs> yeah. We. Um, I mean, we do see her take off her shoes, but I agree. Like, but was, that's not a thing. That's not a ghostly thing. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, to first, just see someone take night. off their shoes and then they're moved. You're not actually seeing anything happen. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's just somebody moved them. Mm-hmm. Is it the ghost? But there's other people that's, here. That doesn't count as a scare. Like they, that's... Uh, well, no, it's not a scare. <laughs> but it's the, the idea that there's something quote unquote supernatural mm-hmm. happening. Uh, the, her first night there, then she covers the doll with a, a blanket, and then you know she wanders through the scene a couple times. On yeah. the third time, the blanket's off. Ooh, mm-hmm. is something happening? And then weird shit begins to happen. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest one is um, Malcolm is trying to woo her because he likes her, right? She mm-hmm. likes him, but because she's... you're the first woman I've seen in years, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, there's an old lady, yeah. yeah. Well, she's exotic because she's American. Yeah, right? you know, uh, are Americans exotic to British people? I think if you're out in the country, you'd be the same as having a well, okay. <laughs> just just to it's the, just the Holly, country. to this the guy that does probably well, this this true. guy pro- clearly sure. does not have a lot of social interaction. Well, and she's just really pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's be real. yeah. She's she very is pretty. very pretty. Yeah. In this, yeah. Um, well, there's a scene then where she, uh, I guess, the big thing that builds up. He tries to invite her out to go um, like see, see the, the town, town or whatever. Yeah, this town that we're never actually going to yes. see in the movie. Right. Uh, to go to the pub and do whatever. And, uh, well, did we establish with her characters, like, she's kind of reticent to get into a relationship because she's fleeing from a guy named Cole, Mm -hmm. who apparently beat her and caused her to have a miscarriage, which then leaves her in a position where she feels motherly instinct towards uh, Brahms. Because she understands the loss of a child. So she's like, I get how the grieving process can just kind of make you kind of lose your mind a little bit. So she understands the doll thing. She might not, she might think it's a little crazy, but she gets it. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't think she explains that at this point. In the it's, film, no, but it's, it goes she to her character. Yeah. Right. Right. And all the decisions that she's making. Because I just thought she went insane. Right. There's, yeah. a, there's a certain point where I'm just like, Oh, we just saw her snap. Right. And she's insane oh, now. Oh, right. yeah. I know where you're going. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. well, before that, though, there's the major big right. set piece where it's like, okay, how do you explain this? Is she takes a shower, and while she's in the shower, we see her clothing that she's got piled up there being slow motion dragged out of the frame. So it's mm-hmm. like, 
is the little fucking possessed guy running around. I see a little and, hand. Yeah, little I know hands, hands that yeah. don't move. So it's yeah, just like, <laughs> it's just like Barbie just hands. Just like clamp the clothes. Yeah, uh-huh. Barbie we, hands. We don't see that, but across. did you have that image in your head when you watch it? You're like, just off frame. There's the little hand, like Chucky. I kept expecting to see it. I thought they were going to pan over and we'd see the little hand okay, doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or it could be Malcolm, uh, you know, who's uh, actually true. Brahms all grown up. Right, because we still think at this shit. point it's mm-hmm. Malcolm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, she comes out of the shower and ends up, somebody has left the ladder to the attic open. Mm-hmm. And so she goes up there and then gets locked in and she can see Malcolm coming for the date and she, you know. She pulls a Christmas on vacation on yeah. herself. Yeah. Locked yeah, herself yeah. in the attic or was locked in the attic <laughs> by yeah. someone. But then in the morning, the uh, thing is open and mm-hmm. she's like, there was clearly somebody in the house last night because all of her clothes have been gone through. Mm-hmm. She brings Malcolm over and is explaining this. And this mm-hmm. is the part where like, okay, Holly. Do you stay at this point? No. <laughs> yeah. No, you no. don't. Because <laughs> Malcolm's like, no, the whole place is all locked up and the burglar didn't steal anything. So mm-hmm. maybe you sleepwalked. It's probably what it is. You sleepwalked. Right. Classic so Holly's like, I'm a hysterical, hysterical woman. Yeah. You sleepwalker, you. Yeah, he was real close to just like slapping some sense into yeah. her, right? Well, God damn it, woman. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> I mean, I can see from his point of view, there really is not a whole lot of explanation, right? From her point of right. view, there is clearly someone who was in the goddamn house. Right. right. Exactly. Um, the next uh, escalation is, I think, the one where uh, Sean, well, we get a little bit more of Brahms' backstory. We find out that, uh, what was Brahms like, uh, you know, when he was a Depends kid? Depends who you ask. Right. The pub talk versus the... The, the nice talk. The nice talk. What's, what's yeah. the nice talk? Nice talk, he was, a, he was a fine lad, and it's a tragedy that he was uh, that he died in this And fire. what's the pub talk? That he was not a very nice lad. And because of what? Um, Because of murder. Does this come out in that scene? <laughs> no, that comes out later. I think okay. it's just he's not, he wasn't a very nice lad. The murder part doesn't come until like another. Yeah. And mm-hmm. she was like, well, what does that mean? He's like, it's just pub talk. He kind of mm-hmm. like brushes over it. Right. Okay. Yeah. It does, but it does come back in and like, oh my God, I should have told you this earlier yeah. type scene. Yeah. Yeah. Like, eh. yeah. He killed a little girl. I probably should have mentioned that. Bastard earlier. skull in, isn't that yeah. what they said? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. can't They said bastard skull in yeah. in the woods or something like that. Yeah. A little girl was found murdered. Yep. I thought maybe, was it multiple like girls, little girls would go missing or it was no, just it was, his playmate? It was, she was like his best friend or whatever. Right. And she was there for his eighth birthday party. Mm-hmm. Right. And she went missing. And then she was found in the woods with her head bashed in. Yeah. This was shortly before the fire. Like yeah. the they day questioned day. Brahms. Yeah. They said they questioned him, and yeah. then like the next day, yeah, the, the next house day caught fire. fire. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it may have been the same day. Yeah, it he might died have been, on it might his have been the same day. Uh, yeah, yeah, he I died think, on I think his eighth you're birthday. Right. Okay, and uh, um, I mean, there's uh, well, it's the next major thing that happens. Yeah, I think it is, is the it? the um, the thing under the door, and right. okay. So tell me about this scene because right. how do we get into that? Oh, first of all, can I um, uh, can we discuss the peanut butter and jelly? That's, that was that's product right. placement, right? right? Well, I'm just talking yeah. about her, the unpacking of it. Like it was in her suitcase. Like it, it struck me as she, weird. You that, don't bring Jif everywhere with no, you, No, I don't. Sean. Actually, you know, that <laughs> was I was so shocked by this. I'm just like, she really loves her peanut butter. I guess so. And Did you guys maybe... notice the labels were always turned right towards the camera? No. Like I was like, this is what we're gonna product place it in. Do a, they not this have movie? peanut butter? And maybe peanut not. Like, no, they do. I bought them all. Okay. there. I was gonna so say, but I, if, I think they would. But she's. I don't yeah. know why maybe that would be the thing. Chunky American. She's gotta have this specific kind of peanut butter she wants. I mean, it might be. It might be different in England. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't know if you could get that through customs then it well, depends I mean, if, if on the type of food and, if it's sealed yeah. it's more like meat and fruit and stuff that you can't yeah. take through customs and the big mistake uh, that they make in this movie is the ringtones that the phones do they right. uh, they Amer- don't ring like yeah, british phones north american mm-hmm. ringtones as yeah to british ringtones. and north american the beep 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 beep, beep mm-hmm. on a deadline oh, yeah, instead yeah, of the yeah. straight tone and mm-hmm. all that um it's engaged <laughs> Uh, so yeah so how do we lead up to the the peanut butter and jelly sandwich what was she doing um, that night I'm trying to remember I think because she gets the idea that it's very possible at this point that there is a supernatural force right in the house 
because Brahms moves or something or something happens and she ends up backing herself into. And, oh. she's, and she's also hearing a, a voice of a little she's boy. She's hearing kids. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and she has like three dreams, mm-hmm. which those, uh, oh, also pissed those me off. Those were all stupid. Those all, all made me so mad. First dream, I'm like, nobody wears that. As far as what she was wearing to bed and everything, I'm like, <laughs> that seems wrong. They're like really, like especially in a house by yourself. Yeah, like you're not gonna be banging anyone, so why are you wearing like this nice yeah, silk right. like it's like a sleep silk gown? Slip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, you. I was like, no, she's in a draft field house in England. She's gonna be wearing like flannel pajamas. Right. Which anything. when she woke up from it was like, that's, that's, that's better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's better. Because yeah. she basically comes out of the room in in that yeah, and it's the she's, Christina Rains look. She's from, uh, almost holding uh, a candlestick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Or, 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 a candelabra. <laughs> Yeah, candles yeah, yeah. walking down the hallway. You gotta go gothic <laughs> and then this is what we're doing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That close. That's uh, the one where he grabs her out of the picture or whatever. Yes, which she, got yeah. me. Yeah. But it's yeah. a jump, jump scare. scare. It's not too hard. That was that the one best me. one, probably. Yeah, that was the best the other, one. That one yes. got me too. Yeah. That got me. The but head you, turn was so stupid. That made me so mad. When mm-hmm. she has the dream when she like walks up to him while he's sitting in the chair and she turns his head and then he snaps his head back at her. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That was it. And then she woke up. That was it. That's dumb. It was so dumb. That's dumb. Yeah, that one didn't um, work on me. I still I'm, can't remember how. No, I can't either her, because like, the, where she locks herself in, into her room and she's screaming hysterically what and happens? like, "What do you want?" Because well, she gets phone calls, um, and this yeah. is the other thing where the movie's like, "Well, you know, who's calling her?" I mean, I immediately went to it's Cole. Yeah. She says, "Cole." Nobody answers. Right? Yeah. They just heavy breathe and was hang there, up. Was there a moment that like? She put the doll like uh, somewhere, like it was laying on the bed, and then oh, she looked sitting, back and it, it was, was sitting, sitting up. up. Right, it was sitting up like with that. the list. Yeah, oh, she right. had put it to like almost a bed, yeah, or into the bed, and, then when and she now it was back, sitting up. It was sitting up, and she was hearing the voices as well. Yeah, and then she, I think she went and the phone call, and then she slams the then door. Then she gets the actual phone call yeah. from Brahms. From she, Brahms, yeah, because she tries to make a call and it's dead. Right. And then she gets a phone call from like the dead air child right. voice. Yeah. And then Brahms speaks and that's when she locks and starts freaking yeah. out. And then he starts apologizing and makes her a goddamn peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and slides it past. This is when we actually see something moving. Yeah. 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 Well, Just maybe under the, the door. only time? Well, there are a couple times when you see out of the corner of her eye mm-hmm. like a shadow move across a wall right. in a mirror. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. she's looking in the mirror and behind her. Yeah. Uh, there's stuff like that happens. Yeah. There's also, there's subjective cameras shots at some point which imply that somebody's looking at her but again could be the ghost of the little kid right uh but this is the scene you're saying was right. when well, you thought that she snapped <laughs> because she does switch from s- screaming hysterically what do you want to like yeah. laughing hysterically <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god he's just trying to communicate and he actually slid a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right, because she opens the door, which, first of all, she's insane for opening the door. Agreed. Because nobody, yeah. nobody Agreed. would do that. Nobody would just suddenly get a little well, calm. Well, we and be hear like, him retreat from the, the door. Right. Well, Greta, he, he apologizes. Greta, he come I think, out. I think he apologizes. Yeah. 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 I made your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fucking peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yeah. And so she picks it up and she's like, she's going hysterical. Yeah. And she brings it into the room. Um, and then I think she gets a phone call from Malcolm. But she suddenly becomes like very calm. And just uh, she goes, she goes insane. Well, the next uh, this is what we're thinking at this okay, point. Okay, so you're thinking that she's gone insane. This is what Malcolm is also about to think because that I mean, I guess this is what you would. I mean, I I, I appreciate this because I guess this is what you would do. This is confirmation of the supernatural. Uh, happening in your house and she can everything do- but the me running screaming from the house which I would also do <laughs> but mm-hmm. like Holly Holly would be like all into this because like you got a haunted doll like I can put it in a room and draw a chalk around it and walk in the other room and go tap 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 on the wall and when I walk back in that mischievous <laughs> little Brahms has got up and walked somewhere else yeah the- no <laughs> right yeah. you'd be hanging out I'd, I'd be it. in the loony bin because I'd run down the street and be like the house made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich yeah. somebody help me I'd be done I'd be done well she does want some kind of confirmation yes. on this which is Mal- no one makes me sandwiches so I'd be goddamn <laughs> thrilled John <laughs> someone who only the, the, you would you would scare the ghost and be like like, you can never leave me. That'd be you to the ghost. <laughs> and the ghost would be like, oh, shit, get me out of here. She's trying to be like, Jif, they don't have this in England. <laughs> yeah. That would be the moment it all falls apart Son for you. You're on tearing out. There's something real. strange and afoot. Um, the... Uh, she well, this is, so we get the impression that uh, she's I just, I'm been, sorry, the reverse haunting thing where you just keep I become you, like a stage five clinger and I scare <laughs> the rest away. You go yeah. to different haunted houses, right. and yeah, that's all right. 
<laughs> copyright this for 2020 Saturday Night Freak Show. I don't have a title for it. We're making it. <laughs> but we're making it. I've, I think I've seen that movie, but I'm trying to remember what the but with title Holly was. in it. No, not with Holly in <laughs> it. Like the happy version, like ah, oh, it'll come to me. <laughs> um, I love you, ghosts. <laughs> I love you, ghosts. Copyright 2020 Saturday Night Freak Show. I love you, ghosts. <laughs> Soulmate. Is yes, soulmate? I love you, Ghost. So it might be Soulmate. Okay. Oh, uh, oh all right. Damn, that's a really good. <laughs> We're doing better. Yeah, We're doing better. Yeah. Um, I, I dig it. <laughs> you might want to check that one out. Uh, so she is trying to uh, recreate this experience and says, you know, basically Malcolm comes over and mm-hmm. like I got to, you know, I got to show you this shit. Yeah. You have to see it happening. Yeah. Yes. Which classic thing in every ghost movie. Right. Yeah. I, I I'm not crazy. I can prove it, and right. then it doesn't work. And yeah, because Malcolm. Malcolm's like, I think you need to spend some, like, get away from this place and have some rest or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then. But then she, it does work. Because she pleads with Brahms. I yeah. really need him to see it work. In which case, I'm always like, well, I mean, that's, you know, what ghost ever does that? You know, like, they want this experience to be with just you, right? Why well, I think she says, because it's like, otherwise I have to leave. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. she says that explicitly, like, otherwise I have to go. Yeah. So you have to do this. Okay, there you mm-hmm. go. They're covered. Like, and the ghost, <laughs> the quote unquote ghost, does not want her to leave. He right. likes her, so yeah, there you go. he has chosen her. Yes, uh, because we we know that because the uh, old folks, the Hendershwaddle, Hendershwats, Hillshires, Hillshires, Hendershwaddles, Hillshires, tell her that Brahms has chosen her, has agreed to uh, to, to for her to be the nanny. Right. There's a scene somewhere about this point in the movie. I think it's around this point because I think this scene where Malcolm shows up, he brings the letter. Mm-hmm. Uh, we mm-hmm. do get to see the Hender Swaddles again, and uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah, there, no, there it is. Just, they just, just go for no, it. No, don't get it right now. <laughs> okay, uh, but a question: Should this scene have been in the movie? I mean, does it help? Yeah, I think so. Okay, what is the scene? Uh, they, they walk into a lake. Fill right. the pockets with rocks. Yeah, this is the themselves. only time that we see them. Yeah. Like outside the house. Yeah. Yeah. Their they, vacation is they go to a, a To lake. me, like that's how bad it was for them. That yeah. they would rather kill themselves in this horribly painful way than deal with living in that house anymore. Right. So yes. this is we know how serious it is. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. suppose that is like right you know, it's like we so now structurally we know that there is a supernatural force in the house. Mm-hmm. And then we see that they killed themselves because they couldn't Mm-hmm. Deal with the supernatural force in the house. Mm-hmm. They write a letter. We don't get to see what it says, I believe, at that point. We see some of it. It's- yeah. Later on when we see like a f- flashback of her writing it. Do we see that? She finds it in the attic and we actually get to see what I think what it says. And then we well, oh, we see her okay, writing okay, okay. it just before they yes, walk in, yes. which felt like a flashback. Because I'm like, what are we, what are we watching? Yes. What's happening here? Yeah, yes. But yes. Okay, so the movie's the holding that off. What the you know what they were going to say to mm-hmm. her? We assume in mm-hmm. the letter. Um. So Malcolm then is eventually confronted with, oh my God, something crazy is happening in this house because <laughs> yes. they do the experiment again and Brahms moves. They hear him moving in the other mm-hmm. room. Yeah, he's shy. He won't do it while anybody's watching. Yeah, but they and, hear creaking and moving and yeah. And so, and this makes them incredibly horny. Yes. Yeah. Because, apparently. apparently, this is a discovery. Right on the magnitude of landing on the moon. Oh, I've always wanted to fuck in front of ghosts. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, that is kind of weird. <laughs> it's yeah, it weird. doesn't make yeah. any sense. No. It's very out of step with the rest of this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we've been hoping, I suppose, that these two will get together at some point. It is odd that, like, once you confirm that there is somebody in the house with you, yeah. they That's basically it... tuck him to bed and then go upstairs to go have sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a little weird. Which Brahms apparently doesn't like because he interrupts it by playing uh, the the record player mm-hmm. at, as loud as he possibly can right. to interrupt this. Right. And we this also, is where they have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Which that's like, I'm not a parent, but don't parents put on music or something loud to cover up the sounds of them having sex when their children are around? Isn't that like that seems like so it seems like sure. Brahms doing that is like just making it easier for them. You know what I'm saying? That uh, not necessarily interrupting. It's yeah. a concentration breaker. No, just, I don't know. The it's fact just, that you know that there's this creepy fucking ghost. Thing right. And if then, that's not a deal breaker, nothing's going to be. Like it's just weird at this moment they're like, all right, now we need to think about this. Mm-hmm. Like not when this first discovered. Right. But now that he's fucked with something 
in the music, and he's like, all right, wait, whoa, all right, have we thought about this? Now, it feels weird that now is the moment they're getting serious. It exactly. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't, make, doesn't sense. make sense. They're carried away by the passion, and it overran their right. logical... Yeah, okay. Sure. So, um... I believe he leaves. Uh, Malcolm leaves the house, leaving her alone with Brom so she can go back and, you know, have uh, give her atten- full attention to him and getting him ready for better, whatever. Yeah. This is, I think, when Cole shows up. Yeah. This is the surprise. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because she's been talking to her sister a couple times on the phone earlier in the movie. Um, and another part that I laughed my ass off was when um, she tells her the story about how her 10 year old, this is her sister on the phone, her 10 year old Cole c- apparently came to their house and the 10 year old gave her the address to where she is right now. And her reaction is, I'll never read anything that son of a bitch sa- sends me. And I'm like, he's coming. you're yeah. insane. Yeah, he's, he's, he's coming. He's, girl, yeah, you, girl you, you, in said, yeah, she, you in danger. You in danger, girl. Yeah. He's coming for you. He's yeah. going to send you a letter. I, I know. I love that her mind immediately goes to, he's going to send me a letter. Right. What the? I'm like, oh you're God. insane. I thought that was what they said on the, I thought that he wanted to send her something, wanted her address. Like, that's what the script says. But your mind, our mind, right. yeah. goes to, he knows where you live. Well, yes. If he was yeah. just, if he was just talking with her family member, he theoretically could have been like, here, give this to her. Instead yeah. of yeah. asking for her not address mention, in England. Not yeah. to mention, like, we see him. That guy's not writing any letters. Yeah. Like, I, and she yeah. should know that. Yeah. I also, but I also wouldn't think that dude got on a plane to and fly to 16 okay, hours to get to... I have a question to... about, what's the time frame of this movie? How many uh, days does this take place over? It was like a week or something. I think it's more than that. Yeah, maybe. I think it's more than that. I feel like it's like a Like, month. how much time is there between that phone call and when he... We see him yeah, later. I think I have no idea. It's, it's iffy. camouflaged in the editing. So yeah. it's just yeah. eh, sometime later he actually shows up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that's, you know, I think what the screenwriter is thinking is she believes that they, she put an ocean between them and he's right. not going to come over here. He may send something. Right. Like, oh, okay. which I mean, sci- that like you do have to be very psychotic to chase someone all the way to England, yeah. you know? Well, it turns out he's psychotic. Well, <laughs> yeah. psychotic. He is that, definitely yeah. a, uh, you know, you're my girlfriend and we're, you're coming back and I bought the tickets and, you know, come back with me right now. And who's this Malcolm guy? And so he's the a type, uh, which you're like, how did they end up together? But whatever people like they do. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so violence ensues, yes. uh, from this meeting of, uh, eventually violence. Yeah. I think because Brahms, the ghost tells him to get out by writing, I think in blood, Get out. He puts a yes. dead rat in his suitcase. A couple yeah. dead rats, actually. Yeah. There's, a, there's a trio in there. Which instead yeah. of him going up to her room and like banging on the door and like, oh, you know, Greta, he stands over the pool table and just yells, Greta! The biggest pool table Greta! in the world, it's you mean? Huge. It's huge. It's huge. Why is it so big? Because it's British are standard. British, is it for like 30 people to play I pool? I don't know. Like, it's got to be. Are, British, are these for crowds? Like, are British billiards just bigger? Is I, that like a thing over there? Maybe. But it was it was like an ocean of green of <laughs> yes. here. It took up it was all the huge. frame. I, I don't know, the I wouldn't room. normally bring up the size of a pool table, no, but, but this is like, huge. It was like a, it was like a California king size bed. It yeah. was like massive. It's giant. It's great. It's one. I mean, I want it. Yeah, like that's a great pool table. Yeah, just put it out in the garage. It takes up the whole camp parking. Jesus, there. yeah, it's another car. You gotta yeah. have a lot of wall space between that table. And, you right. know, on the wall too right, right yeah you well, ever they seen do, those videos of people putting castle. holes in their wall yeah. yeah um but this is the scene where the movie actually uh puts its cards on the table for those of you who hadn't already guessed it and i gotta tell you i had not i had not i was floored the first time i saw this <laughs> now yeah it was i i was like all right movie i'm listening yeah, like yeah, as yeah. soon as it happened yeah. this is why you remember yes. the boy this is the <laughs> Honestly, that's the only thing I remember. Yeah. This is what everyone says about this. It's just like, whatever it does up till there. But that ending, holy shit. Yeah. Now, when this first came out, uh, I saw the trailer for it. I'm like, I'm never going to see that. Mm-hmm. And so my friend told me oh, what happened. And tell, what the... <laughs> Yeah, this was three years ago. Yeah. All right. Did you forget about it? And you no. watch it, and you're like, oh, this is the movie where the guy. I never forgot it. I knew this yeah. was what happened mm-hmm. in this, and I knew it was going to happen. Okay, I well, wish then, I for, wish I had. Yeah. All right, fine. Well, this is where I leave, <laughs> and you three continue on with your podcast. Yeah, it was uh, well because the first time you saw it, you had you said you already guessed it, so this was yeah. not 
uh, a big surprise. No, this is like finally all. here it is. Okay, all right. So yeah, I didn't. See I'm with this you, coming. Colin. I didn't see it coming either. I was. I doubt I would have. It was just kind of like this, like ho hum, ghostly. You know, right. I was honestly, movie. I was bored by it. Up Which until is why this I point. wouldn't have watched it, or yeah. I would have been like, uh, yeah. I would have hated Which watching it. Up to that's why, point. honestly, I kind of like. I know that we just watched the trailer for the second one. We were kind of dogging on it, but the trailer is not <laughs> giving it away. It's not assuming that you saw the first one. Right. It's, it's like a okay, we're still independent thing. It yeah, we're like. keep we're still uh-huh. keeping that to you know like right. the, yeah. in contrast, the Happy Death Day to you too ruins trailer the which whole, ruins the first. She movie. literally <laughs> summarizes the whole first yeah. movie in a voiceover, right, right, and right, that right. came out a year after that for that movie. Did. Yeah, right. um, so, I will say the trailer for the boy. Also, I'll, I'll give him credit. Did very well because mm-hmm. nobody saw that coming. Yeah. And you no. think it's some version of a ghost? Because this something. is like in the age of Annabelle and, yeah. and Jigsaw and you know the right. the creepy and Dead Silence and the, the creepy doll movies. It turns out that there's a guy living in the walls. This yeah. is Brahms, and he wears a porcelain mask. And he's got a beard. He's like a Brooklyn hipster, but with a crazy porcelain mask. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's got yeah. like a like like that sweater kind of like low cut shirt combo going yeah. on. You he's know, got the wife beater in the yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 I he's didn't understand the mask. I think he was burned in the fire. Yeah, I think yeah. that we a, oh, should I barely, not have seen it. I there. barely saw it, but he okay. cracks it at some point. You can uh-huh. see burns. Yeah. Oh, here okay. Here. Even okay. though the rest of his body gotcha. apparently is fine. Okay. Yeah. He but was what? laying outside the fire with just so, his yeah. head in it. We saw a lot of his chest happened. hair. His ch- his torso is fine from so, what yeah. we saw. So, so did his parents out? have a matching mask made for him then? Like that's. I think so. So they ordered a doll and a matching mask. Yeah. So this is what's... Okay, so now we got to talk about like what actually has been going on right. in this movie. Right. Because that means... So Brahms did kill the girl and to protect him or the fire happened, he started the fire, whatever. But he survived. The parents said, we can be removed from this scandal and we'll say that he's dead. Yes. But he's our son, so we'll keep him alive. Mm-hmm. But we can't have him, anybody actually seeing him. So we'll get a doll. And Brahms, you just kind of hang out in the walls. Because it's been established that sound carries all over this place. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And it turns out that he has inside the walls, he has his own little uh, home, you mm-hmm. uh, know, a room, apartment, you know, that he lives in. It's like the Michael Myers lair from Halloween Resurrection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's all I had to add to that. Okay. You ever seen a movie called Housebound? Okay, never mind. We're not going to. So the, um, but the idea being then that they, so they take care of him, but this relationship is so one-sided or whatever. He like starts to be demanding and doing, I assume, physically uh, harmful things to them. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make Brahms, man, he's as good to you as you are to him. And when you're not good to him. But we don't see any, like, we get that it's. I guess we suspect that, considering they kill themselves at yeah, some point. To but be we don't free see any, right? But we don't see any like um, uh, uh, any consequences of that. Like uh, they're, they're not like horribly scarred people or like mm. anything like that. Something something that proves that he is being abusive to them somehow. Well, we have, uh, but there is like uh, Malcolm had a drink with the old guy. Right at some point, he says like I can't remember how that conversation went. Um, but he says the old guy was basically it's that kind of like resigned like you know uh, I can't remember. Well, he's yeah. he's uh, he came made the delivery. Oh, it was during uh, one of the birthdays one year. Oh, that's the right. mom was sitting in the room with Brahms opening a presents, and the the dad was drunk off in the other room. So he convinced him to have a few drinks with him, and then he said he got up the nerve to ask him what was the real Brahms like. Kind of oh, kind so of. He just said odd, odd. It's just like. And he okay. said one word, odd. Because he knows that he's listening. Brahms is there. Right. Right. Listening to everything that he says, and so he can't really talk freely. And they can't apparently ever leave the house. Yeah. Um, the way he comes through the walls are pretty good jump scare, though. Yeah. It was effective for me, because I was not expecting that. Because he comes through a mirror, right? You yeah, you hear the the mm-hmm. the coal shatters the doll. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. This, this is the thing that instigates. Well, yeah, this it. is what this is what instigates it, and because we're still at this point believing this is a haunted movie, mm-hmm. yeah. of some sort. So we're like. This is a big moment where he's swinging the doll around and mm-hmm. then he just smashes the doll's head on a chair. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the walls start to shake. Yeah. And lights with are going rage. out yeah. with rage. Yes. <laughs> the walls are shaking with rage. Yep. And things are, like, you can hear things moving through the walls and everything. And you're just wondering what the hell's going on. And Cole <laughs> gets up close to the mirror and he's, like, listening to it. It's like, I think there's somebody in the. Yeah. And the whole mirror breaks down. I will and- say at this moment when, like, the 
the house is actually like shaking and lights are going up. It wasn't that moment that I was like, is it actually a haunting? Mm, like right. that moment I was like, wait a second. Right. But yeah. no, Brahms is just huge. Yeah. <laughs> and super man. powerful because he flips uh, Lauren yeah, Cohen. Yeah, he's got superhuman yeah. strength apparently, man. Yeah. And super clicky bones. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, I don't is know. it just clicky bones? I also copyright Clicky Bones. Clicky yeah. Bones <laughs> for whatever I want to use yeah. that for. I just want that title, Clicky Bones. Yeah. But he, what is that? The 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 clicking noise that happens a lot because he's know. all bent up and. and I don't I, know. Is that what he's because he's in the walls? He's stretching out Maybe. and it's making bone noises. Maybe it's weird. There's a fight, I guess, between uh, Malcolm. Greta and Brahms in the, you know, as they're going through the catacombs of the, because all these houses Which, have these gigantic spaces between their right. walls. I have a problem with the walls because on the inside they have like little slats where you can like see into rooms and stuff. Yet the actual rooms are very nicely kept up. Yeah. Like they're wallpaper. Wallpaper, and they're, yes. Mm-hmm. Like you can't see through. Yeah, they missed that whole thing of like yes. somebody looking out through the pictures. Yes, eyes you, need the, and all yeah. stuff. you need the painting thing. You need right. like yeah. the. I was like, waiting for, yeah, the boys' yeah. eyes and the painting to start moving yes. or something. And they really didn't do a whole lot with the whole. I think when they're trying to flee from him, he shows up like, you know, he comes out of a closet or something. But the right. idea is that he probably is like coming out from the fireplace or coming out from underneath the trap sink. doors and, yeah coming out through trap doors all throughout the house right. but they don't really play into that no, no they don't. And sequel was, opportunity and there was even, I, th- <laughs> there, I think there was even a moment like when they reference that they don't really have fires in the house anymore and they blame it on the fact that there was a fire but I think it was because he comes in and out of the fireplaces I think that's why they don't have fires mm. in the house but so they, they don't didn't smoke him out yeah but yeah, I would love a hand coming out of a, a place you would not expect it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mm-hmm. would be good. Sequel. Or Even reaching up like, from a floor know, to grab look, someone's yeah. leg or something. Honestly, you could material. have like do the Evil Dead thing and just have the trap door pop up and see some eyes and go back down or something. Yeah. You know, yeah, you had the attic door. Like, yeah, could've, you could have done yeah. something there. Something. I yeah. think there were some missed opportunities in that chase scene. Well, she, mm-hmm. uh, Malcolm, it seems like he gets mortally wounded and uh, tells Greta to just run. And Brahms is like, if you leave, I'm going to kill him in his sing-songy Brahmsian voice. Yeah. Right. And she actually does get free and then determines that, like, no, I got to go back and help Malcolm. Her. Yeah. And if we didn't know that's what she was going back for, she says it out loud. Yeah. Yep. I, right. <laughs> she Malcolm. says a Who lot are you talking to? <laughs> she says a lot of her thoughts out loud. Yeah. It's just the like, shining to tell God of being alone, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He won't forgive me for running away in the first place. But thank God she did, because then it was thank crystal God. clear. Yes. Uh, she, I wouldn't have known why she was going back. Well, Forgot my keys. Um, See you later. She uses Jason mom, Jason's mom. Yeah, yeah. On you can't get him anywhere else. <laughs> yes, and like she's running, but the GIF label's still just like towards the camera the whole yeah. time she's running. Yeah. If, GIF. And then she goes on. If she, yeah. Uh, clicky Bones. Clicky Bones. That's copyrighted 2017 or 2020. 2020. 2020. I don't know what wow. year it is. That's right. This movie came out in 2016. Yeah. That made no sense. Uh, so she uses uh, reverse psychology or parental psychology on Brahms mm-hmm. to get him to go to bed, mm-hmm. right? And and tuck in and all this, and he demands a kiss. So this guy this is part. a physically mature adult man. Yeah, you, you see his chest hair hanging out of that yeah. tank top the whole time. Yeah, about the age of Malcolm, yeah. if we go by the ADR we heard mm-hmm. earlier in the movie, right? But this uh, is so this, this is a Jason Voorhees mom moment. Okay, but it, well. Well, yeah, but see, he's in the house with this "quote unquote" nanny. Originally, we think it's a little boy's ghost, mm-hmm. yeah. But now it's like it's an adult guy. Yep. So big, the plans that he has for his domestic relationship with A Greta, very gross. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. This escalates very quickly. Yes. Because I would have assumed that we would have got some hint of this earlier. We had jealousy we earlier. Were, we were supposed yes. to. Was there supposed to be like an R-rated version? This, of this? was supposed to be R-rated. Is this PG thirteen? Yes, it, it, it was. Is. Yeah, it is. Okay. We had, it had a couple working titles before it became the boy. One of them was in a dark place, and the other one was the inhabitant. And Ooh. they and that was that Both was giveaways, giveaways for a man exactly. being in a wall. Yeah. It was. Uh, they were going with the inhabitant for a while, and then they were like, "We can't, <sighs> we can't really go with that because it's going to give it away." Also, the whole relationship was supposed to be much clearer that the fact that they were searching for a nanny, they were actually searching for like a mate for their son. That oh. was supposed to that be made sounds much, way cooler. That was supposed to be made much clearer. And when he like tears through her clothes when she's in the shower, originally he takes all of her clothes and forces her to walk naked through the house while he spies. Would have been her. a much better movie. Like, oh come there was, on. There was all yeah. these little things that made it like 
you understood that point. It and then like the whole scene, like when he when she kisses him goodnight, that was going to be much more graphic. He was going to like attempt to rape her, and then she kills him. It was like a whole. People would still be talking about this yes. movie if it had done yes. any of those things. Like it, yeah. would, it was supposed to be so much darker and like way cooler. I'm just trying to think like if you had the scene of her walking around the house, like you'd shoot it. Well, I suppose at that point, the way that they'd shoot it with like a shaky POV you would still be thinking that it's the like a haunted doll. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. It's only later when you would put it together, you'd yeah. say like, yeah. you know, yeah. Because that whole scene in, when he traps her in the attic is, it is adult male jealousy. Yes. He's trying to keep her from going out with Malcolm. Yeah. Right. Uh, the original script it would have been so much more clear. Yeah, so sounds, much more clear. Oh, I would have never mm. like I'd be I'd still be talking about that I movie if I had gone. <laughs> well, especially yeah. if it was market still marketed as this haunted doll movie, and this is what I get instead. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. If it had a little more tell. edge on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it would. Uh, we'll get to it in wrap ups. But yeah, if it had a little more edge on it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But this kiss is still disgusting. It's still gross. Yeah, yeah. well, disturbing. he doesn't take the mask off. <laughs> but it's. It's like he he's so aggressive about it though yeah. the way he like comes at her just that like, beard poking out yeah is gross. it's because you it's imagine the, whole the smell thing. and all this other stuff uh, has been moving in the wall and the fact that he's doing that kid voice yeah the kid yeah. voice because, and like, like there's parts when it like it kind of like he gets like kind of shaky and his man voice does come out a little bit yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just crazy but this kid is not like a quick peck on the cheek he's like trying to French her through the mask yeah it's it's. Gross. Not yeah. good. Yes. And she, uh, at least this is the point where she has brought a screwdriver with her. So right. she gives him the old shank mm -hmm. in the ribs. Mm -hmm. In which case, that's when his monster strength is displayed as he throws her across the room. Mm -hmm. yes. The house does not burn down at the end. Right. Right. Why not? I know, because I've been watching all these old movies and every single one of them, the fucking house breaks down. <laughs> like, it, it is a pretty good way to end your, like the house goes up and the people, you know, go out and they hug each other in front of the flaming. I'm like, and she, they're like, like oh, she, thank God that's like over. She drags yeah. Malcolm from the burning yeah. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, and this oh, way you're not, he went up in the flames. Right. He, he might be dead. But with this, you're just like, he, wait, he's not dead. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he's not dead. <laughs> hey, like lady, we saw, he's there's not, not dead. There's not even any confusion. He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we see at, at all. the end in his little attic room, he has glued together mm -hmm. the porcelain doll mask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, and so then they, it ends. He stabs her. Is there like what happens after that? He stabs her. Is there a final fight? Or she just goes and She's grabs just, Malcolm. She just gets Malcolm and drives him to the hospital. The final thing is that like, she jiggles the hammer, the screwdriver a little bit, and then he goes yeah. down. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. She'd already stabbed him, and he's strangling her against the wall, and mm -hmm. she goes, ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he's down. Yeah. Yep. She didn't even like... The, couldn't no, because it was already like, in him at that point. So yeah, she just wiggles it around. She just a wiggles bit. it around yeah, yeah. a little bit, and he's done. Yeah. He's done for. He's in so much pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Which, I mean, weak. I'm sure that's painful. Sure, but like you know, give it a few more goes. Something. Something. Make sure that the man out and who's been stab him in the neck. Yeah, maybe do yeah. that. <laughs> the eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple through times. The eye, that really mask. Through that mask. Yeah. 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 Like you know, make sure. <laughs> yeah. What do you? What well, do you, maybe or maybe make sure by burning the house down. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's what they should have tipped something over or some gas. Especially with all something. the talk of fire within this movie. Yeah, yeah. it should have. He now, died in fire. He dies in fire again. Right. I mean, as cliche it. as it may have been, he it, it belonged in this movie. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. finality, at least, yeah. right? Yeah. You, know? you could still have a Brahms two in a different house. You wouldn't be able to save the same house, but right? You, you could still that have thing. the final shot where they see that the the doll's been reconstructed. Here's what yeah. you do. You have a family buy the property and build a new house. They find the mask and then. Or, yeah, the, yeah. or like there you go. on the ashes of the house and some blow away and there's the mask. Yeah. But then a Brahms hand comes down and pulls it out. Yeah. Something. Something. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so they were thinking about a sequel then, even. Uh, at, at Don't the, save it for the sequel. Fuck you. But they, oh no, they just had to be leaving the door open. Mm. I mean, that was the whole idea, not burning the house down. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if the original script burned the house down. No, I'm really curious. Yeah. <laughs> that I don't know. And they're like, we can't actually burn this house down. This is like a tourist uh, spot. Yeah. British Columbia or yes. wherever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fairly famous mansion, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there it is. They yeah. drive away. And that's it. They drive away. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> they just leave the property because again, we don't ever leave the property. Mm -hmm. uh, so there you go. All right, so I uh, tell you what, we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch The Boy, even though we just spoiled the whole thing for you. Uh, but first of all, we are going to hear from you uh, via our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. 
Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail! So many letters, our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Oh, it just, he he handed his hand came out of the wall and he yeah. handed us yeah. the mail. Yeah, that was very, yeah. He lives in the that's wall. Very that's nice. why, like all those posters behind you. The, the, yeah. Oh, is that? The wall they swing fame. open. They they have the little eyes. They have the little eyes. Right, yeah. Yeah. He does it the right. eye slots. There's no, there's yeah. no holes in Colin's walls. He does yeah. it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is, that, is that one of those bumps I hear every now and again? Him yeah. walking into a wall. Yeah. Yeah. You never okay. know. Like mm-hmm. I don't have rats. I got Igor. I got Igor and his pals. Little Igor's running around. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, so I thought we had him neutered. <laughs> we should. Mm. All right. I mean, I don't, it's less less we had him neutered and more they fell off. <laughs> I, th- I think they just rotted off. Uh, I'm pretty sure. The leprosy that he the contacted old during the fog. Sorry to put your business out there, you are. <laughs> but uh, you know. Uh, so you can get a hold of us. Uh, participate. Uh, join the Freak Show family by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, about tonight's episode, The Boy. Egmond Dante's. Should I say it like the baby? The boy. Yeah, there you the, go. Yeah. <laughs> the boy. It doesn't come across. It's not as good. No. no. The no baby. Syllables, yeah. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> the boy. Okay. No. Eggman says uh, the movie is kind of boring, but also unintentionally hilarious. I can kind see that. Is, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, Gary Lee writes in and says, I watched this movie with my 11 year old daughter. We both fell asleep immediately and woke up during the credits. We tried to watch it a few times since. And failed every time. I hate this movie. The upcoming <laughs> Freak Show episode is already the best and only good thing about this film. <laughs> I, I can't understand falling asleep, too, because it's really quiet and it rains a Very lot. Very quiet. There's a lot of yeah. rain in this movie, too. Yeah. It's, it's, sleepy, it's a sleepy time. movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a sleepy time movie. Yeah. Uh, Michael Whitaker writes in and says, My favorite scene was when Greta put Brahms on her knee and he sang Swanee River while she drank a glass of water. <laughs> Okay, I admit I never saw them. <laughs> uh, he thought it was a vi- uh, yeah haunted ventriloquist dummy. Uh, that was magic. The magic, yeah, yeah. magic uh, was awesome. The magic was good. Uh, Teresa Ann says it's another potentially fun episode. This is pretty much a near ripoff of a forgotten '70s horror gem that would be a spoiler if I mentioned the title. I assume she's talking about Bad Ronald. Anyone? No, Bad Ronald? no that sounds before. cool. Now I want to see yeah, it. I don't know that one. Uh, mm-hmm. Travis Legler says, from what I remember, I passed out in or I passed in and out throughout the movie while I was homesick on cold meds. It was okay. I honestly feel I get more entertainment from Dead Silence or from, of course, any Chucky movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Andrew Bradford says, well, it's not a bad movie. It's also not a great movie. It has some spooky elements mixed in with some what the hell moments. In the end, though, it's just another creepy doll movie that doesn't accomplish much. Mm, is it just another creepy doll movie? Is it? Just- the other, doll is I creepy. don't remember people living in walls in any other creepy doll movie I've seen. Right. True. Not just another God damn it, Holly. Yeah. Stop bringing movies with people in the walls. Uh, Wait, never. Uh, yeah. <laughs> people yes. under the stairs. Now we got people in the walls. Uh, I, I cannot just, be contained. I, I need <laughs> to copyright that as a, not just another creepy doll movie as a Saturday Night Freak uh, Show. Right? Not just yeah. another creepy doll. Okay. Uh, let's, we, oh, there's certain <laughs> levels we should not sing to. Uh, Robin Linneman Silverberg says, eh, it's okay, not great. Mm, that seems fair. to be the, the mailbag yeah. sentiment. Yeah. And uh, Neil Gums says, I'm a sucker for creepy doll movies. Who isn't? Yeah. This was delightfully sure, sure. freaky for a while, but seemed to run off the tracks at the end. I love yeah. your name. I kind of like That's that movies run off the track sometimes. Though. I do too. <laughs> sure. I'm like, hey, you're trying something. Yeah. 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 You're not boring. <laughs> uh, about last week's episode, Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. Feline Fatale writes in and says, Death Becomes Her was supposed to be a special episode of Tales from the Crypt, but being too long for a single episode, they were going to make it into the first full-length feature film. I love that movie. That's awesome. Yeah. And that was a Robert Zemeckis directed. Mm -hmm. I heard that they were making it as like the, that was one of the films in contention scripts. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a a great movie. Yeah. So out of Tales from the Crypt, right? We got uh, Bordello Blood and uh, what, Ritual, but we also got The Frighteners and Death Becomes Her. Mm -hmm. And maybe From Dusk Till Dawn. Yeah. 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 Uh, Carl Reck writes in and says, whenever I hear people ask what are some of the best horror movies that no one talks about, I always bring up this movie. It's very underrated and just fucking fun. It is fun. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's fun. 
Jonathan Holt writes in and says, comparing the blood of Christ to sourdough starter was probably one of my favorite freak show moments <laughs> since Colin's description of Igor's pus straw. <laughs> <laughs> What was this? I'm, I forgot, and I haven't listened to this. I don't remember. Yeah, what I don't remember what episode it was. Like, yeah, he had but... pus on his back, and he had like a straw, a straw that yeah, sucked we... it out, like one of those oh. beer like, can You know, like the beer can hands, yeah. like right. the crazy straw. <laughs> right. It was like that, but, but for what his disgusting What was this? Back. The sourdough? This for Demon Knight, when the, the blood, the, the amulet with the blood. Yeah. Don't you remember? They, they, just keep, they just keep like, it's the blood of Christ, but they keep adding to it. Yeah. I was like, it's like sourdough starter. And remember I said it was like the same place, the restaurants use the same grease for 40 years, and you have never heard of that. Yeah, you just keep adding to it. Yeah. Uh, the whole grease. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, the grease conversation. I remember now. Uh, Brent Zemecki wrote in. He said, uh, Tales from the Crypt is one of my all time favorites. Billy Zane is phenomenally funny as the villain. Yeah. Uh, Michael Whitaker wrote in and says, I watched the animated kids' show Tales from the Crypt Keeper before the actual Tales from the Crypt TV show. I never saw the cartoon. I never watched it either. I remember it, but I never watched it. I'd be interested. Did you? I know we talked about it last week's episode. Well, we didn't talk about the, the Tales from the Crypt, uh, the Crypt Keeper Christmas album where he sings. Oh, God. I don't the, know. Sounds I, awful. It's on our Facebook page. <laughs> uh, Owen Johnson writes in and says, How Billy Zane can Billy Zane get in this Billy Zane led movie? Him saying, Heads up while throwing an actual head made this movie. <laughs> P.S. The best part. Tammy and the T Rex is on Shutter. We know. Oh, we know. We're aware. We know. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, uh, for some reason, that made me think. Uh, last week, uh, I accidentally said that um, Dick Miller was in Little Shop of Horrors. He was played Walter Paisley in... Uh, <sighs> <laughs> wow. There, wait, was, roll there, Colin. Oh, it was, it's not a Bay of Blood. What the hell was the name of the fucking movie? I can't remember. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, Bay now of Blood stuck in you're going to have to do another head. correction next yep, week. Another correction, correction, which you'll forget. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. It's right there on the tip of my... Okay, Just whatever. Uh, I'll remember later. Right. And let's see here. Poor little dude says, no one ever knows what I'm talking about when I mention this movie. Laugh out loud. Jada Pinkett lives. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Hells yeah. Uh, about the previous week's episode, Deep Red, Maya Madsen writes in and says, I had an English professor who loved Argento. He frequently referenced John Carpenter as a mental midget who stole all his good ideas from Argento. <laughs> I like that insult. That's great. It's funny. Ouch. Ouch. I think it I don't think it's true, I but I no, like it. I don't think so either, but but I did go back and try to watch that interview. Mm -hmm. It's like it's taped with the oh, interview yeah. between John Carpenter and uh mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting stuff. Hmm. Um Carl S writes in and says, First off, I hope Michaela is feeling better. Oh, thanks. Because she missed that episode. Yes, I, did. I enjoyed your discussion as always and wanted to linger on one of the things you talked about that you missed a certain face early in the movie. Isn't that one of those things that that should be known by everyone now, but isn't. I think it's one of the ballsiest moves by any director to straight up give away the whole mystery, but trust that his magician skills can yeah. make every viewer miss it. As much credit as Argento gets, it's surprising that it's surprising that this trick doesn't get even more attention. Yeah, That's I true. agree. That's, I, I totally missed it. That takes some balls. Yeah. But it's one of those things like you got to remember at the time that this was made, films were a linear thing there was no yeah. such non-linear jumping around in a movie rewinding mm. couldn't be done right you saw it yeah. either in the theater and then it was gone you never got a chance to see it again or it was on tv and there was no stopping that mm -hmm. yeah so before vcrs and all that mm -hmm. it's like you, that's why you can't pull that trick off now. yeah right you would pause and rewind it's a good trick yeah, yeah. it's very good uh bill hainer says oh because we posted a photo of a black gloved killer uh, from Deep Red, Bill Hainer says, is that Sean's hand again? I just watched Slit on Amazon Prime. He it's says, bravo, hand. Colin. This homage to Argento was really well crafted and showed a true love of Giallo films. Nice job. Uh, that's right, because in uh, this movie that we made called Slit on Amazon Prime, <laughs> uh, Sean plays a black gloved killer. Yes. There you go. Uh, Stuart Dees uh, wrote in because Nicoletta Elmi was in, uh, she was the creepy little girl in Deep Red. And he's like, oh, well, that's the girl from Demons. She definitely grew into a very pretty young woman uh, because she was in Bay of Blood, Baron Blood, Andy Warhol's Frankenstein, and who wow. saw her die. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's his name? Dees? Uh, Stuart Dees. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm Stuart just waiting D's for nuts. yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I'm waiting for a D's nuts D's joke nuts, at some point. Yeah. I'm waiting for it, yeah. I'm just, but I'm just, just trying to find the right spot. It sounds weird to cut for it off at just D's. I know. It just sounds like you're not yeah. done saying his yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah, relation really to, to. I really Rick. feel like you're gonna keep going. <laughs> yes. uh, all right. It was a bucket of blood. <laughs> there, you, there you go. There, See, there, there it is. Had to get the bay of blood out of there. Bucket of blood. Bell we ring when you remember something. All right, just turn the podcast off now. I know. Yeah, should go back and okay. All right, I'm getting old. All right, so now you we're. Are. <laughs> so let's get this done quick. Colin! Yeah. <laughs> yes, Colin, Sean. before you die on us, what did you think of tonight's movie, The Boy? Uh, I'm going to recommend The Boy, and I'll tell you why. Because you of that uh, moment that the ending, the ending took me by surprise. And sometimes I think uh, a movie with a good ending, uh, with a, you know, when the first part of it is functionally well enough done. I mean, I, that's why I'm even going back and watching it. I'm like, this is a serviceable movie, right? Going into it thinking that it's a haunted house movie, but they all generally have like some kind of very samey kind of ending. And this one was like, okay, that's outside the box. I didn't see that coming. Granted. Yes. It's been done in other movies before they have people in the walls, but I guess uh, the, the, and maybe you had to live <laughs> through this period of time when we had ghost movies coming out of, Every, the woodwork. Yeah, out of the woodwork, literally. Uh, that's all there is. Every week, you go to see a movie in the theater, and it's a fucking ghost in a house movie. Yeah, not my favorite time <laughs> of the 2010. No. No, there's no. one out right now. The Turning is in theaters as oh. we record I've made this. a point to not watch them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so this was an anomaly, I think, uh, led by a strong climax, where it actually had an idea of where it was working toward and delivered on it. Um. I like uh, Lauren Cohen in the movie. I think that, uh, you know, I mean, obviously I've seen The Walking Dead. I saw it for years. I thought she was really good. She was not really doing much here that she hasn't done there, but she's an appealing screen uh, performer. And, you know, I mean, it's too bad that she hasn't gotten uh, other uh, theatrical roles, but I'm sure she's going to live on forever in television and then eventually in conventions. Um this movie shot by Daniel Pearl, you know, he's the guy that shot the Texas Chainsaw Massacre oh. <laughs> and the remake and Friday the 13th and Pathfinder. Right, I'm sorry. And remake. a bunch of TV. Yeah. Right. Um, so it has like a nice, you know, clean look. I mean, it looks like a haunted house movie. I went through it uh, just as the filmmakers intended where I was sitting there going like, is it him? Is it uh, a ghost? Okay. It's a ghost. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, floored. There's a guy living in the wall. Uh, and because of that, and like another movie, actually, I saw somewhere around, it feels like the same time. I don't know if I should say it. Well, there's a movie called Orphan, but Orphan also leaves an impression because of the way yeah, that, it does. Yeah. Because, but the same thing. It's like if you take the endings off of these movies, they're boring. You wouldn't think twice about them now, mm -hmm. but exactly. it's because of where you get to. You're like, I remember that movie. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we've got a sequel coming out. Called the boy too. Brahms the boy too. Yeah. Which I can only imagine what they're going to do is they're going to kill him off and he's going to be a ghost for the last half of the movie. I mean, I don't know. I mean, right? <laughs> That's it's the big gonna, twist. He's going to be a ghost. <laughs> he's going to be a ghost. He's already doing more in that trailer. Than he is in, the, in yeah, this but movie. That's, uh, you don't know how much of that's visions. Oh, we'll, we'll yeah. find out. I'll, I'll yeah. go see it. I was like, how many dream sequences are we getting yeah. in this yeah. one? Yeah, I'll go see it and tell you guys if it's any <laughs> good. Uh, but I would recommend the boy, the the boy, the boy. How, how can you, do? <laughs> you, can you do? stop saying it? <laughs> no, you should stop saying it now. Don't, and, and why are you looking at me when you're doing? You it? had the baby. Yeah, it's I'm just, trying to do it's the boy. Creepy. I can't do it. Okay. Uh, you don't stare into my soul while you say it, though. Well, this is a comparison. Right. The baby. <laughs> the boy. Sean, what did you think of the boy? Um, oh, this is a tough one for me because, again, um, I didn't go through it like he, like the uh, filmmakers intended. I knew the ending before I even saw the movie. Um, so uh, it's I I don't know if I can give you all a clear answer here tonight. Um, I, if I say I, I don't recommend it, it's because I knew the ending before I saw the movie. Um if you, if I'm talking to you, and if I say go see it, um, you'd have to not have listened to this podcast and not right. spoil well, that, it. That is a problem. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm fucking, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking. Um, I'm with I'm you. I'm screwed. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go watch it. I, I, I don't know. I can't do it anymore. Um, I, I thought it was boring. Um, and but again, 
I don't know how it would have impacted me had I not known the ending. Because that is a good ending. Mm -hmm. You think it's a ghost movie? And it would have been, I, I think I would have appreciated it because I don't like necessarily ghost movies or haunted doll movies and all that shit. And then to have a guy climb out of the wall at the end of the movie, I may have been like, holy shit, bravo. I may have stood up in the theater and <laughs> that, been that's like. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened for me too, like, yeah. You got me. Good job. Uh -huh. And I'd be, I'd be like, you know what? I might be saying the same thing Colin is. Like, it's a decent movie mm -hmm. um, because of that ending. <clears throat> Um, this and that and the other thing, but I mean, I was just mostly bored. Um, so I'm going to say no to the boy, but that's, there's extenuating circumstances to that. Mm -hmm. But so no, Michaela, I, I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, Sean. I think that like, it's weird because if they've listened to this point of the podcast, they've had it spoiled. Yeah. So I like, who am I really recommending it right. to? You know, I get what you're saying. 100%. It's a confirmation thing to the people who like it. it yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, um, or the people who don't. And I'm with you too on ghost movies like this past decade of like these ghost movies that just make hand over fist constantly mm. is like the most, in my opinion, one of the most detrimental things to like horror like ever like because that's the only type of horror movie we get because it's the only thing that makes money and I I I really have a hard time buying into any premise of a ghost movie um, mm. because like that you have to believe in it right for it to be effective at all or at least be open to believing sure in it. like and that's got to be a possibility in order for it to be like scary exactly me, and like, exactly and that's really hard for me to access yes. and so a lot of times I don't like ghost movies for that reason and a lot of times it's a lot of um like it, like that was my problem with the first half of this movie. It's it's her shoes moved. Like that's we're supposed to be terrified by her shoes moving. Like that's right. stupid. You know, give me more than that. Give me something scarier. That's I, think, why. I think that's their problem. If they, yeah. they give you something more, they're like, you should leave. Then we'd be yelling. The the, yeah. the the logic would break down as to why she's still there. It's okay to start small and work right. your way up, but this movie doesn't really do that. Mm. Like it it doesn't really have like a big scare moment until. He comes through the wall right. like and then and then it's a completely different movie at that point. Right? right. But there's no big like haunting moment that's really scary. And it's all about how it's shot and it's directed and it's written because like you could also make the same, same argument about paranormal activity that nothing happens. Then movie. movie is terrifying to me. And so I I mean, it's all about how it's handled. And I don't think it's handled in a particularly stylized way in this movie. I think the guy is serviceable and got the job done. Basically, yeah. it, it doesn't seem like they were aiming really high. You know, um, I think they just were like, hey ghost movies make a lot of money let's make a ghost doll movie and make a lot of money and that's exactly fuck with them at the end yeah. yeah but the ending i think the ending puts it over the edge for me for recommend i think i'm gonna recommend it because the ending i did not see it coming i was pleasantly surprised i thought it it was a ballsy choice and i thought it was pretty successful even though we pointed out all the problems with this movie <laughs> right. it was like i didn't see it coming that jump scare worked on me and then I was like oh my god there's a dude living in the walls that's genius like that was like that's genius because I was I was with you John I was like this is a fucking haunted doll movie I don't give a fuck about any of this yeah. it's not scary it's just dumb and then it took a hard left turn that I was totally on board with mm -hmm. so I'm gonna recommend it solely because of the ending if you can watch it without having it spoiled for you that is the best way to watch it if not like just go along for the ride and see if you enjoy it so yeah. Holly um yeah I as we established earlier, I had not seen this movie. So you picked um, this without seeing this? Yes, yeah. I did. Because the sequel's coming out. Mostly? Um, or you just want to see it? Uh, both, actually. Okay. I, I had heard about it, and I just never got around to it. And mm. I was like, well, the sequel's out. Like, today, as you're listening to this, the sequel is out. I was like, seems like a good time to watch the boy. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I picked up on the cues on the ending like i'm i'm not always the person that sees it coming so i'm kind of surprised that i that i was able to to spot it um but i still i still liked it because i was still second guessing myself you know like i said when the the house was shaking and there was moments that they were still implying that it was like a haunting i was like well maybe i'm wrong you know maybe maybe that's not where they're going with this and so I still thought it was effective, even though I predicted it. I still thought it was effective. I thought it was really cool because this, this movie is very unique. How the Most of it feels like a gothic supernatural movie, which I love that feel. Like I know Colin and I both really love mm -hmm. that style. Like it, I, I love that feel. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait, is this an 80s slasher movie? <laughs> like it's mm -hmm. just a total, tonal switch. Um, it actually really made me think of Hell Knight, too. It made me mm -hmm. think of that a lot because yeah. that was like the whole theme of Hell Knight was like it was a haunting and then all of a sudden like nope the guy's just never been he was never dead yeah you know so I thought of that a lot watching this um, but 
Yeah, I th- I think that it. I mean, yes, it, it it is a boring movie. I think for me, it's the style of it that I liked so much. Because, I mean, we don't get we don't get the gore. We only get like a, a couple jump scares, and maybe only one of them was slightly effective. Like we don't get the things that we want from a horror movie. But the style of it, I think, is what I enjoyed. Um, I I, I was watching it by myself on a Friday night, and it was just kind of sleepy, and I don't know, like it just it was just kind of a pleasant thing to watch. I I don't know how else to describe it. Did you snuggle Um, up to your porcelain doll and watch? I really did. I really did. No, I didn't snuggle up to my cat. Um, but yeah, I just I enjoyed the style of this movie. I think I think it's it's well shot. I think it's pretty. Um, and I I like the the atmosphere of that gothic, creepy, supernatural feel. Um, and I do I do like that ending. I think it's great. I think it's really effective. Um. Yeah, I th- I think I enjoyed more of it than I didn't enjoy. You know, we talked about the problems of it. Um and I wouldn't I wouldn't go into it expecting greatness. Like don't go into into it thinking it's going to be this like revelation of a movie. And, you know, it's a PG-13 horror movie, which is usually not a good sign. Um but overall I think it's mostly more enjoyable than not enjoyable. So I'm going to recommend The Boy. There you right, go. There you go. Sean, tagline. Uh it's bad. It's <laughs> every, really bad. <laughs> every child needs to feel loved. Oh. That's the best they could do. Oh, yeah. Dear Lord. Uh, Colin, <laughs> uh, I still think it's a sin that you sold your dummy. Oh, Because now that oh. he cannot be sitting here with uh, us tonight yeah. to enjoy <laughs> yeah. this podcast. I've got so. Igor. <laughs> He's my dummy. Yeah, I got, okay. yeah, got, got it. All right. Uh, <laughs> calling a dummy, <laughs> dummy. Oh, yeah, we got Igor. Next week, uh, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. Uh, Michaela, what are we going to watch next week? If you say The Boy you know, too, I swear to you God. You know, we have waited far too long. Yes. And I am taking yes. action into my own hands, and we're watching Tammy and the T-Rex, the gore <laughs> cut next week. <laughs> oh, no. What's Sean going to do? When God damn it. <laughs> you had your chance. Take it out of my hands. You, you picked Demon Knight. You think Demon Knight's more important, clearly, because you picked it over this movie. So no, no, no. You've had that again, Blu-ray for months. <laughs> You've had the Blu-ray for months. There were circumstances. Oh, so you're bringing... That's right. We're seeing it in Blu-ray. Yeah. yeah Although you can watch it on Shutter. Yep. Follow. We're watching the gore cut. So the gore that's cut. what we're going to watch. Yes. So. There you yes. go. All right. It's so Tammy time. and the T-Rex is next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. You Thanks son of a for bitch. listening. And until then, the basement is going dark.